Hi, and welcome back to Paul's Aquariums Unboxing. I'm Paul, this is Paul's Aquariums. I'm an aquarium shop in Brisbane. We are going to unbox heaps of awesome fish from one of our lovely wholesalers. First bag. Oh. Oh, they're pretty awesome. Look at those. These are a freshwater eel from like Thailand, Cambodia, places like that. I think they might even come from the Mekong River. They have snouts on them. So if you see on the screen, little pointy snouts. These will only get a little bit bigger than this. These are huge. I hope I can get more of these. I only got 10 of these. If you're local and you want some of these, now is the time. They are so much bigger than all the other eels we've got lately. Wow, they're impressive. Super peaceful. These will live a pH of six to a just above seven. So they like the water slightly acidic. They will jump out of your tank. So you have to make sure you've got a decent lid on your tank. And they will eat little fish like neon tetra size or little tiny guppies. But uh, everything else is pretty okay to keep with them. How cool are they? Called a spiny peacock eel because apparently they have spines and they have the little peacock dots on their tail. Super cool. Max out about 20, 25 centimeters. Those guys are maybe 20 centimeters. So they're close on adult size. If you want some really super cool ones, I think they only retail for around 30 something dollars as well. So haven't done the pricing yet because I haven't seen the fish apart from them but they are nice. I would take all of those home if my accountant, and you know who you are, would let me. <laughs> so if you want some of those, come in and get them. Oh, another Southeast Asian fish, Opaline Garamis. They also look super, super cool. These will be fine with the peacock eels. They'll get decent size, maybe 10, 12 centimeters, maybe 14 centimeters if you're lucky. Light blue, dark blue, really cool motley pattern. Another nice community fish, like the water slightly acidic, so keep your pH 6.5 to 7 and they will be happy. We have, oh, long fin zebra dinios, and they're nice as well. That's three lots of nice fish out of three. That's pretty good. <laughs> I have no idea what size these fish are. I did order all these fish this time on my phone. Well, of course on my phone, but I just said, I'll have these, I'll have those, and I couldn't remember what I said. But obviously, I said awesome dinios. They are long fin dinios. These are temperate, so they'll survive cold, they'll survive warm. So anything from five degrees, say 10 degrees, because five degrees, they're not gonna be pretty happy. 10 degrees up to like nearly 30 degrees Celsius. So that's lots of Fahrenheit's. Suitable for unheated in Southeast Queensland or tropical tanks. We have some angel fish. They're a decent size, decent size marble angels. I'm pretty sure there's some super cool angel fish, not that they're not super cool, but some super cool angels in one of these boxes as well. Oh, we have all the cool stuff this week. Look at them, they are invisible fish. You can see their little skeletons. They are a head with an X-ray tail, wow. So these are ghost glass catfish, again, Southeast Asia, super peaceful schooling catfish you want a group of at least four or five of these they will just hover there i was going to say waver there they'll just waver there <laughs> they will just hover there and look awesome so big fish will pick on them but you can keep these with smaller tetras south american fish with the same water quality again seven to just below seven ph oh we have jumped to africa lake malawi cichlids Cobalt Zebras or Pseudiotrophus, big, sky blue, awesome fish, pH of eight or so. So you don't want to keep this with normal community fish. Rift Lake Cichlids, they will go awesome. What are they? They are some sort of dynio. They might be pearl dynios. This is the problem with fish that turn up in a bag. No name, you forgot what you've ordered. Oh no, they are not pearl dynios. They are normal zebra dinios, so they're like the long fin dinios you saw without the long fins. In the bag, they have no color and no stripes. <laughs> On screen, they have stripes. So a very, very peaceful, lovely fish to keep. Oh, we have some plecos. They look like gypseps. Are they gypseps? They are sailfin plecostomus. These guys get huge, South American, 60, 70 centimeters. Awesome with South American cichlids. You don't want to keep them with high pH fish because they just don't like the high pH, even though a lot of people tend to. Shame on you. But they are a really impressive algae eating catfish if you've got a really big tank. 
you would want six foot tank bigger for one of those. While well, they're small, they're okay in smaller tanks, but obviously a bigger tank for them. Last bag is more cobalt blue zebras. So there are tons of them. Fish that I will keep again and breed once I go crazy with Malawi cichlids, which will happen. That was box number one. We're going to box number two. Box number two. Now we have box number two. We're gonna see what exciting stuff we have in here. Haven't had these for a while, licorice garamis. I think there's only about half a dozen or so. Super small, very cool little fish. So nano fish for small tanks. If you put these in a bigger tank with other fish, you'll probably just lose them. They will disappear into your plants, never to be seen again. But in a smaller tank, like 30, 40 liters, I was gonna say centimeters, 30, 40 liters, you're gonna see these little guys swimming around the plants, looking awesome. But we have a few of them left. Chocolate garamis, called chocolate garamis because they're garami and they don't taste like chocolate. Tastes like fish, yeah. Oh, more sailfins. These are albino sailfin gibiceps or albino sailfin placostomus. 60, 70 centimeters, super impressive. I have some huge ones of these in my big tanks at home. Massive, massive fish. Eat a lot of food when they're bigger, a lot of algae. A lot of people don't keep them stingrays because they try and eat the stingrays. I still have some with stingrays and they haven't eaten the stingrays. I'd probably even wager that the stingrays want to eat them. More awesome fish. Look at them. Glow like tetras. South American, like a neon tetra, but they have an orange stripe and a lovely white belly to them. So super peaceful community fish, not gonna get much bigger than about three and a half, four centimeters max. Like a tetra, but not a tetra. These are Harlequin Raspora. And they're a decent size. Everything seems to be very awesome this time. Congratulations on this wholesaler. You have awesome fish. If any of the shops watching this want to know what wholesalers, just message me on social media, I can tell you. We are not hiding wholesalers from everyone. But look how cool they are. Yeah, they're a nice fish. So Southeast Asian, same water quality as South American Tetras. So slightly acidic, soft water. So 6.5, 6.8, below seven, they do a lot better than alkaline water. Really nice triangle, as you can see, lovely schooling fish. South American fish again. Oh, they're big too. These are Otto Sinkless catfish. Really cool algae eating fish that stay super small. So these are the most common ones you can get in Australia that stay small, eat algae in smaller tanks. Only catch them as you need a group of three or more of them because on their own, they're kind of sad. Wonder where all the little mates are and just act sad. So you want to get at least three or more of these. They are going to max out at about five, six centimeters at the most. Awesome little algae eaters, shy, peaceful fish. So community tanks of tetras, not big fish, they'll be fine. Hey, we have neon tetras. Always have neon tetras. I actually missed the neon tetras in the last unboxing, but we had neon tetras. We have more, there they are. Red, blue, awesome South American tropical fish. You need them in a heated tank, lots together, and they are awesome. So any of the schooling fish, you want six or more ideally. Get away with three, but they always do better in a group. And we have more Malawi cichlids, Demansoni, I believe. There might be a couple of bags of those. Very awesome, high pH, bright blue and light blue stripes. Males and females look super impressive. I do want more of these for my own personal tanks. I think I've only got one giant female lurking around at home. Obviously can't pit these with them, but when I set more tanks up for Malawi cichlids, I'll be breeding these guys as well. So all your Malawi cichlids, you want groups of them together in a bigger tank. So nothing smaller than like 150 litre, 200 litre tank and you want at least 20 fish. If you've got less than 20 fish in there, your dominant ones are gonna pick on the others. If you're not sure and you have issues with Africans or keeping Africans, comment down below, which is down there, or talk to me on social media and we can tell you how to keep them happy. That was box number two. We're going to box number three. You thought there'd be three of me, didn't you? <laughs> Just me, one is enough. Two was probably too many. Box number three. More angelfish. Okay, that's the rest of the angels that were in box number one. There they are on the screen. Lots of cool colors, not just the motley colored ones that we had in the start. Oh, 
Ooh, clown loaches. Again, Southeast Asian, they will get huge. 30, 40 centimeters. Give them 20 years to get that big. They take that long to grow. So they go through growth spurts, so they can double in a year. Then they don't grow for six months, and they double in a year. Very cool fish. Now, a lot of people keep these in alkaline water. Where they come from in the wild, it floods for half the year. So for half the year, they're at about 6.5 pH. Then they jump to 7.5, then they back down to about 6.5. So if you keep them in hard alkaline water all year round, they generally don't cope as well as slightly more acidic. So try and aim for seven or below. They will do a lot better long term than all over the place. Unless you want to breed them, then you have to jump your water all over the place. And yes, you can breed them in captivity. Those are, what are they? They're gouramis? They are gold gouramis. <laughs> what are they? They are gold gouramis. Gold gouramis. They're a gourami, they're gold. They're the albino version of a blue gourami, which makes them gold. Because albino doesn't mean white. Albino means getting rid of the browns and black pigmentation, which makes them gold. They get about that size. They're schooling. They're nice and peaceful. Slightly acidic water. Fine with most tetras. They do get big. They get like that size, which is what? 12, 14 centimeters, but they've got tiny little mouths, so they shouldn't eat many fish, if any fish. More gouramis, pearl gouramis or lace gouramis. These are beautiful fish. Females, not so beautiful. Boys, very beautiful. I don't know why. That was like a Dracula type thing. I want to something. Boys will get a bright red throat to them and long fins. Very nice. Everything that the gold gouramis do, these do. So they're bubble nest builders, super peaceful. Okay, with small schooling fish. Not really an issue in your tank, in a community tank, unless you've got two boys and they chase each other around, or if you've got a pair and they decide to breed and chase everyone away from their nest, which a lot of fish do. South American fish again, looks like albino glow light tetras. Very cool. Like a glow light tetra, but albino. <laughs> South American, schooling, want to be kept in a group. They're just nice. They sound boring, but they pretty much glow in a tank. So you've got a heavily planted tank, they look super impressive. A bigger fish, these are barbs, filament barbs, and I think there's a couple of bags of filament barbs. Did I just say bags really loudly? To the mic I did, sorry. Bags! Oh, if you want a discount on any of these fish, use the word bags for a discount online, which are not fish, but dry goods. Ooh or in store for this thing on the screen, which if you freeze it now, you would see it. There you go. Filament barbs, big, schooling, awesome, impressive fish. If you want something that's gonna go with decent sized fish like green terrors, ruviatus, which is a green terror, all that sort of stuff. Maybe not necessarily Oscars because they're gonna get big enough to try and eat them unless you've got a massive tank. You can have a big school of those. Those are the rest of our Malawi cichlids. More filament barbs. How many filament barbs did I get? Okay, I got lots of filament barbs. I think. Oh, there's some Corydoras. Orange Venezuelan Corydoras. These are lovely little fish. South American, obviously Venezuelan. Do actually come from that area. Small schooling, five, six centimeter max. You want a group of three or more of them. They will rummage around the bottom. Not an algae eating catfish, but more of a eat worms, clean up the bottom of your aquarium type catfish. They are tropical, so you want to keep them 24, 26 degrees, and they will be super, super happy. That was all in that bag. Oh, we do have one more thing. We have these, which are shrimp. So we have lots of neocaridina shrimp back in stock. And that is this video. If you enjoyed the video, click the thumbs up so I know. If you comment down below, it'd be great because we have the suspicion that half the views are AI. We're getting taken over by AI. Hope you found the discount code in the video, which was super, super easy. So if you do want to use the discount code, come in, say that word, go back and pause it, or even just pause it and then show me on your phone. If you don't want to say the word, that will still work. You can get a discount on any of these fish and the rest of the fish in shop or a discount on dry goods online, and we will send them to you anywhere in Australia. Who are? Well, we, me, I do that because I do that. We will see you in the next video. Click these links if you want to see stuff and bye.